Quality forage should be the foundation of every horse's feeding program. A hay analysis will allow you to know the amount of nutrients that are available in your horse's diet. This is important because different horses have different requirements, which will depend on their age, size, exercise level, and even their health concerns. A hay analysis will allow your Mad Barn nutritionist to understand whether your hay is suitable for your horse. It will also allow them to optimally balance your horse's diet depending on the nutrients that they may be missing from their hay. The first step to getting a hay analysis is obtaining a representative sample. This can be done either using a forage probe like this one or just a regular pair of scissors. A forage probe is the best option because it allows us to take a sample that's most representative of your bale as it samples across the bale. To test with a hay probe, you'll wanna to come to the end of your square bale and place it in the center between the two different strings on your bale. You'll want to insert it the entire length or about 12 to 18 inches deep. Once you've done that, all the hay will collect within the probe itself and you can then push it into the bucket and it'll be available for collection. Once the sample is in the bucket, you can empty it into a Ziploc bag or just a clean regular bucket. For any bales that you sample, you'll want to put the samples into the same bag. We recommend sampling at least 10 to 20 different bales to get a sample that's most representative of what your horse is eating on a daily basis. If you sample less bales than this, you may get a bale that is an outlier and it won't be a good representation of what your horse is getting every day. If you're using scissors, you can either grab a sample with your hand or you can open the bale and grab it that way. You'll want to make sure not to lose any leaf matter if you can, as this is really important as the horses like to eat this the most. Once you have your sample in your hand, you'll want to cut the two different ends. And you'll be left with a sample that's about two to three inches in length. Overall, you'll want about 200 to 500 grams of hay to send to the lab. This is about half or a full-sized freezer Ziploc bag.